Alright, what is up everybody? It is DGL here, and let's continue on with some uh, Lawrence Trent games. Yeah, I actually had to go out of town un unexpectedly, so yeah, apologies for uh, a little delay in some uploads. You know, it happens. Life happens. You know, you know the drill. <laughs> anyway, I'm back now, and on my uh, little trip, I got to pre prepare some uh, videos, which is cool, so it wasn't all... Uh, done in vain. I am back and I shall upload more. Anyway, this game uh, was played in the 2003 World Junior Chess Championship. Um, yeah, so let's see how it went. Lawrence Trent with the black pieces and um, his opponent... Friend departed. Oh, I lost a friend. Um, <laughs> his, fr um, his opponent, not his friend. Maybe they're friends, I don't know. Um, I don't believe this is the full name, but um, maybe it is. I don't know. ICC can only fit so many characters, so, yeah, that might be missing, like, an E or something. You never know. <laughs> um, but uh, you can check the link in the description to see if that's his whole name. Anyway, let's jump right into it. Um, Lawrence having the black pieces, and we quickly get into a Roy Lopez. All right. Black opting for the bishop c5 line. c3, um, castles, all normal. d4 hitting the center. Alright, and dropped back, which is a bit of a, yeah, okay, gambly move. Bishop g5, of course, pinning the knight. Very annoying. And h6, putting the question to the bishop. And the bishop just calmly retreated. d6, adding some support to the center. A4, setting up uh, maybe a little trap. <laughs> uh, let's say black played a nothing move. Let's say king h8. Then white can just take on c6. And then play a5, which would trap the bishop and win it. So um, obviously that's something black wants to avoid. So after a4, Lawrence played a5, just stopping the pawn in its tracks. h3, making sure no piece can get to g4 which makes sense. And g5, which is a curious but interesting move. You always have to be careful when pushing your king side pawns because um, your king can become very weak or loose. We could say there's a bit more yeah, air in front of the king. But here it's interesting. Um, what, let's just um, quickly take a look. Let's say bishop g3. The knight takes e4 is um, very good for um, black. As he's won a central pawn, um, perhaps um, f5 is coming, which um, I'm a little partial to. Friend <laughs> arrived. You never know. Yeah, I got a friend. Anyway, that wasn't played. So what did White do? He just sacrificed a knight. Why not? <laughs> um, yeah, getting two pawns for the knight. I don't think it's working, um, as the game will show, but uh, it's interesting. All right, king g7, knight d2. Um, also possible was queen f3 there, but um, okay, knight d2 is chosen. Knight e7, good move, breaking the pin, of course. All right, queen f3 now, okay, attacking the knight. But knight h7, very nice defense. Now attacking the bishop, and the bishop commonly retreated. All right. So, knight g6, okay, knight c4, and here the computer rather likes the move bishop a7, pointing out that knight takes a5 is not so good in view of c6, um, you know, with a double attack. You could maybe take a look at knight takes c6, takes, and uh, yeah, black is up a knight pair, but white has four pawns. <laughs> I don't know. It should be one with good technique, but okay, four pawns against two knights. Yeah. All right, but anyway, this should be good for black, of course, with the knight pair. So bishop a7 is sort of the computer idea, but that wasn't played, and knight g5 was. All right. So queen h5 counterattacking on the knight, and knight f4. The knight was picked off, and h4 putting the question to the knight. Now, only the only move to keep um, the edge is maybe the somewhat obvious. Knight takes e4, 
getting one pawn back, and um, yeah, uh, moving forward, <laughs> I guess you could say. All right, queen f3, uh, putting uh, pressure on these pieces. However, queen takes h4 was played, just completely taking the h file, but giving up the knight, which was taken. And rook h8, okay, so we have some mate threats. <laughs> White um, had to address that and played f3 with a, a with a um, escape square. All right, and bishop h3, very fancy. Um, yeah, of course, White doesn't really want to take. Here we could first look. Knight e3 was played, which is a tricky move. Um, of course, taking the bishop is Check. not very uh, yeah advisable Checkmate. due to this. However, knight e3 was played. One point being taking, takes, 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 and okay, this is probably still favorable to black, but okay, it's a game still, maybe, roughly, scary, I mean, I, king f6, rook g8 looks scary to begin with, but okay. However, queen g5 was played anyways, okay, so now really threatening the knight, and also eyeing the g2 square. And if the knight moves, of course, then it's made on g2. So white played knight g4, saving the knight and also stopping um, queen g2 mate, or preventing it, I should say. Um, rook f2 can simply be met by taking the knight. Rook e2, um, bishop f5 takes, queen h4, yeah, is just crushing. So... As mentioned, knight g4 was played. Okay. And f5, which is the um, downside of knight g4. Very obvious, but, uh, yeah. What else? At least black is weakening his king a bit more. Queen e6, and black chopped the knight. Check. Alright, and queen um, began giving some checks. King h6. And white got his other rook into the game. Um, we could take a look at g takes h3 here. Um, g Check. takes h3, basically forcing queen g4 because um, king f2, yeah, is not very good due to Check. queen g2, king here. Check. We have the check. Note that the bishop is, of course, defending the rook, but that's not the problem. The problem is this h-pawn, which is going to be promoting next move. All right, so that's obviously not so good for white. And white just got his um, rook into the game. Um, actually, I'm getting ahead of myself. We could quickly take a look, check. as I mentioned. <laughs> Queen g4 here, just briefly. Um, then rook a to g8. Basically forcing a queen trade. You could also take a look at uh, bishop e2. But um, the queen Check. trade is more or less forced here, actually. Check. You'll have to take my word for it. Um, and here, king h2, which is not as good as king h1, can be Check. met by rook g2. Check. Um, forcing king h1. Of course, king takes here. Check. Rook g3. Okay, and you can pick your square here. Checkmate. Is crushing. So, okay, again, rook Check. g2, king h1, and white will, um, excuse me, black will double on the file with massive control over um, g2 especially, just crushing. Um, there's also king h1 immediately, in which rook g2, rook g1, and we have something very similar to um, the line above that was shown. So anyway, that's why uh, maybe white avoided taking the bishop here and opting for um, getting his other rook into play. Black got his rook into play, doubling on the g file and per perhaps preparing some support to the king. Check. Rook e6 check. Okay. And that was met by... <laughs> king h5. What a move, right? The king is just moving right up the board. Um, of course, now taking is not quite as interesting due to, um, yeah. 
um, due to what? G takes F3, of course. <laughs> um, brain freeze there. Rook um, King F2 is met by... Checkmate. Checkmate. So yeah, note of course that the rook is stopping the queen's defense of that square. So anyway, King H5 moving right up the board, no fear. And rook E7. Alright, so let's say black plays a nothing move here. Let's say, I don't know, uh, bishop A7. Then rook Check. here forces a rook trade because king here Checkmate. is not very good. So we have the trade. Check. And the only move is queen H6, but then the rook is undefended and white has one material. So that's the threat. Of course... Um, the threat was noticed, and how did Black defend this? <laughs> he played King H4, just moving the king up again. <laughs> what a move. Um, yeah. Check. Rook H7 was played anyway, and to top it off, King G3. <laughs> the king is a fighting piece, right? Very nice. Um, yeah, look at that king. He's just fighting for those squares. The bishop... Oh, man, what a position, right? We have um, queen e6. Before um, we move on, we could take a quick look. Um, does black threaten anything here? I mean, is there already threats? Uh, let's say white played a nothing move. Let's say b3. Then queen e5 is super, super, super strong. It's just absolutely crushing. Um, yeah. With threats of, uh, yeah, queen e3. Of course, if white plays a nothing move, queen check. e3. Check. Check. Mate. Is crushing. Uh, we can also take a look at if rook e7, then bishop takes g2 is crushing with rook h1 mate to come. Look at that king. What a fighting piece. Um, there's also queen e7, which can be met by check. bishop takes d4. Check. And this is check. just kamikaze Check. until checkmate yeah mate so queen e5 is very strong but it's white it was um white's move and he played king e6 and queen e5 anyway that's how strong this move is <laughs> it can be played anyway um yeah threats of bishop takes d4 the rook to name a few um White decided on the queen trade. There's nothing. It's already busted. Queen takes, takes. We had the rook trade. And here, white resigned. Um, understandably. I mean, just look at this king. <laughs> I mean, you could take a look at uh, g takes h3, which gets a piece back. And then you could take a look at um, both moves win. We could take a look at this one first. Yeah, opening up this diagonal. I mean, with the king here covering these squares and the rook about to enter the position and, the, in, and an incoming bishop check, it's just absolutely crushing. So, yeah. Understandably, after the rook trade, seeing all this was coming, uh, it's just absolutely crushing. White re did resign. So, yeah, what a, what a good game. <laughs> Look at that king run. It reminds me of a, oh, I forget, a Nigel Short game where he ran his king up. Uh, was against Topalov? I forget. Oh, it's a famous game. Oh, that's embarrassing. I should remember this. Hmm. But yeah, um, maybe I'll put a link in, into the description about that game too, which also um, one of the most famous king runs. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll be back with um, stuff soon. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys around, of course. Peace again. Thanks, and bye.